It is 118 degrees in Arizona right now, and I'm about to show you the best life hacks to do in the summer to cool you off. This is the homemade popsicle. All right, let's heat up our knife. That should be good. Now we're gonna get our Ziploc bag and do our cut. Ooh, look at that. And now it should have sealed the side where I cut. Let's fill it up with our drink. We're gonna use some blue powder. Oh, we got a leaky. We got a leaky. All right, let's just heat up the corner like that. I think we got it. Okay, let's do it again. Take two. It's still leaking. Bruh. Oh no. All right, this one didn't work out, so we're gonna make a new one. So we're gonna reheat the knife and make a new cut. I hope that was good. I want this to work. This would be like the best hack. Here we go. Come on. Please work. No. Oh no. Bruh. This is the first hack and it shouldn't be taking this long. Come on, let's try melting this corner. That should be good. Come on. This is last attempt. Come on. Come on, it's leaking. All right, we got a little leakage, but we're gonna still put it in the freezer and it's gonna freeze. Come on, let's do it. We're gonna put this in the freezer. So we got it shut and we gotta wait two to three hours. This is the nachos to go. First, we're gonna cut the corners of this bag like that and that, and we're gonna cut straight across. Perfect. And now for the fun part, we get to add our cheese that in there all right that's enough cheese now we're gonna put some sliced olives oh yeah I love olives then we got some salsa here is our to-go nachos you want to try it first all right here we go That is freaking gas. I like that. Mmm. Mmm. This is a success. This is called the cold soda can hack. For this one, you're gonna need a wet paper towel, a soda can, and a freezer. First, you're gonna grab your soda can, wrap the wet paper towel around it, just like that, and you pop it in the freezer, and it should get really cold. Now that it's been 15 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and check on our soda and see if it's really cold now. Let's see. Oh my gosh, that is actually freezing cold. Let's unwrap it. And let's give it a try. Cheers. Wow, that's like very cold. Holy crap, now it's only 15 minutes? Wow, this is my favorite one so far. On to the next one. This is the pool ice chest. Here we got a plastic tub. There's already ice inside of it, but we're gonna put all these drinks inside. We get a NOS, we got a Diet Coke, we got Powerade, we got Cherry Coke, Sprite, we got a Poppy, we got some water, another Powerade, and some apple juice. Apparently, we can put this on top of the pool and it will float, but oh gosh, this is actually pretty heavy, dude. I don't know about this. Do you guys think this is actually gonna float? Let's go find out. Keep in mind, it's really hot outside. I'm gonna have to run from here to the pool because right in this area is like hot lava. Are you ready, set, go. Oh. Let's get in the pool. And uh, let's see if this floats. Three, two, one. There's actually no freaking way. Look at that. It's freaking floating. I can't believe this actually works. I'm gonna get me a poppy. Go, 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 go. This was a success. This is the towel hat. 
right, we're gonna tuck it in. And then we squat and we just wait a little while. All right, see if that did anything. <laughs> it, it's dry, it's all dry. If you want to touch, it's all dry. Look. Now this was a success. Now it's time to check on our popsicle. Let's open the freezer. And it's frozen. Slide it up. Oh, look. It worked. Mm, they're pretty good, too. Success. DIY chocolate-covered strawberries. All right, we're going to go back outside and let this melt. All it's going to take is like five minutes. All right, we're going to set it down and wait about five minutes. And we'll get back to it when it's melted. All right, let's flip this over. Yeah, it's ready. Let's get a strawberry. We can go with the biggest one, of course. Size matters. Here we go. I'm gonna dip. Ooh, look at that. Here we go. Mmm. That's really good. Let's get some more. Mm. This is the Mr. Beast chocolate strawberry. Here we go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The water balloon hack. All right, we got the bunch of balloons. You can fill up 100 balloons in 60 seconds. That's pretty crazy, let's see. We're gonna grab one of these and screw it on. Then we're gonna turn the water on, give me a second. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at all these. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. Let me turn the water off. Wow, look at that. They're all perfectly tied and everything. That saves so much time. That's gotta be like 30 minutes of work right there. It's all ready to go. Now it's 30 seconds. Now we gotta test it out. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. You're trying to throw one at me? Ready, set, go. Oh, 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 oh. DIY sprinklers. First you get a corkscrew, you put it at the end of one of the pool noodles, just like that. Next step, we're gonna drill some holes. Now we tape the pool noodles together. Make sure it's nice and secured. Now we're gonna grab the hose. Put the hose at the end of the pull noodle. Screw that in. Nice and tug. That should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water on now and we're gonna see some magic. All right, the water is on. And check it out. It worked. That's actually really cool. Ah, the water's hot still. Oh my goodness. Bella, Bella, come here. Come here. Okay, that's better. Come check it out, Bella. Look at this. Bella, come here. Check it out. Come on. Come on, Bella. Look, it's water. It's a sprinkler. You don't want it? You scared? Come on, it's water. It's nice and cold now. This was a success. Oh, it is just way too hot out there. This is the popsicle hat. So instead of using scissors, you can grab on both ends and just tear it apart. That simple. You ready? Three, two, one. Just like that. Mm. The floating drink. So you pretty much put a scrunchie on any drink that you want and you put it in the pool. Here we go. Three, two, one. It worked! It floats! <laughs> it doesn't float perfectly, but I would say it's probably the, the least best life hack I've done today. This is the banana chocolate peanut butter treat. The correct way to open a banana is actually from the bottom. All you gotta do is stick your thumb in and peel. See how more simpler that is? That's a life hack within a life hack. Huh? Now we're gonna make a cut in the middle on each banana. All right, now we're gonna heat up the peanut butter, put it in the microwave. 
Oh yeah, it's nice and wet. All right, now you grab your skewer, put the banana in, put it in the peanut butter, take it out. It's very drippy. Dip it in and out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Pop it in the microwave. Wait, wait. All right, now we're gonna mix it. Oh, it's like burning. Time to drizzle the chocolate over peanut butter bananas. Like that. All right, now we're gonna put it in the freezer. 30 to 40 minutes. All right, now let's open the freezer. Look at that. It's nice and cold. Check it out. Taste test. Here we go. Mmm. That's really good. That's busting. Mmm. I would give this a 9.5 out of 10. Really good. A nice refreshing treat to cool you off. And it's very yummy. Mmm. This is the rake. S'mores. All right, so we grab our marshmallow. <laughs> marshmallow. We stick it on the ends. Okay, we're gonna want to... Now we go over to the fire pit and roast them. Let's go for it. All right, here we go. Nah, a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Ooh. Oh, 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 whoa, look at that. They're ready. And this scoop it up. Just like that. Now for the bite. Mmm. Yeah, it tastes better off of a rake. It really does. It tastes way better off of a rake. Wow. This is, this is really good. Mmm. A dirty rake that probably picked up dog poop? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs>